and welcome. My name is Tom the Toolman and I am the CEO at thetoolman.net. Uh, in this video presentation we will show you how to uh, activate your domain name after you have successfully picked a, picked a domain name and reserved the domain name of your choice. Now uh, you should have been at this site here and at this site is where you would type in your search to search for it. Uh, once you get this search and you find out your domain name is available by clicking on search, uh, it will let you know if it's available. Uh, you can view all extensions. Uh, that way if the .com, .net, .biz, and .info is taken, uh, maybe the .us or another name that would be suitable. Uh, remember the search engines don't care if it's a .com, .info, they don't treat them any different, uh, they don't discriminate, so don't, don't be afraid. Uh, the only benefit to having a .com is most people are programmed to say a domain name and then put .com at the end of it. So as long as you brand your name good enough, you won't have to worry about just having a .com. Okay, people remember you by your brand. So now when you get your domain name that you're settled with, you can click on search. It will give you the option and then you will go through uh, setting up your account. This is very basic. It has all the forms for you to fill in. Be sure to fill in the denoted areas that are mandatory for information and then create your account. Now once you create your account and reserve your domain name and have it in your back office, uh, the system will automatically send you an email. Okay, so once you get through the process and you create your account for your domain name, now you will get an email. So you will go over to the email, and I have this email already in my email inbox. This is when I was doing a test run, and I'm getting the toolman.us. Now this email will be filled with all your information, your invoice ID, uh, how much it's going to cost you, and so on, and how many years it's for. Uh, you have not yet paid for this invoice. You can print this invoice as well as execute or cancel this order by following the below steps. Now here you have, we have total step-by-step, -step, uh, real easy to follow. And once you do this process a couple times, you'll be able to uh, walk through it no problem. Uh, we also have our contact information down here. If you need any help, be sure to call us or drop us an email. Or you can go to our support desk and submit a support ticket. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the link below just like the email says. Okay, now you want to read a little bit ahead here or you can bounce back. We'll bounce back and forth. We'll take this one step at a time. So we click on this link. And remember, if that link's broken up in your email, you get a dead page. Be sure to copy and paste everything. Take the space out of it and then hit enter and you should come up with this page. Okay, so now when you get to this page, it shows your transaction ID, registration of the toolman.us for one year the amount 664. Now you can print this invoice out for your hard records, uh, your taxes, or anything that you have for the end of the year. Okay, so we're going to add funds and we're going to click on this. There's only one button there. It will tally up. But what you will do is is go ahead and click here on continue. Uh, once you click continue, you will be forwarded to PayPal, and here is who you'll be paying me, the toolman.net at gmail.com. Okay, I will follow through this so you can watch specifically how to do this. So we will log in. You can't pay yourself, so I'm using, I'm using my partner's PayPal. Okay, if you have a partner, uh, you'll want to do this. Uh, if you set up your own reseller system, which is available, and then you'll know everything works flawlessly. So now here we have the information 664. It's going to be a one time billing. Uh, at one month before, it's going to 
expire the system will send you an email telling you to uh, go in and pay for that and you can go in and pay for it you can pay for one year two year three years pretty much whatever you want to do okay and this is going to initiate the payment and now we're done it says please wait your transaction is being processed you see our copyright under here once it's processed it will forward us to the correct area where we can continue to maintain our domain as this is going we'll pause and we'll wait for it to come back and we're back not much longer after that so see it says transaction completed successfully so now what you would want to do is come over to your menu area here and let's see um, okay and then once the transaction is successful uh, you simply click on the home button and it will bring you back to here or you can click on the domains and what you can do is you can either list the last 10 all product search or domain registration search uh, since we only have one this will be appropriate for now so we click on list last 10 now here we have the toolman.us domain name click to manage so now here we will click to manage the domain name and here you have all your information here for your domain name okay so now what we'll do is you have, most of the time you will want to modify your domain name server uh, let's go over here to the lock and unlock and make sure that it's unlocked okay uh, order locking is a useful feature to check the box to set the lock and uncheck it okay so it's unchecked so you're good to go as long as there's no check there and what you want to do is you want to modify name server okay name server said here is DNS one parking uh, we're going to change this to the toolman.net and we'll also change this to dns2. the toolman.net. Uh, those are our name servers. And once you get down here, you just click on submit. Now, uh, once you click submit, your DNS it says modification modification completely success completed successfully. And here we have dns1. the toolman.net and dns2. the toolman.net okay so now you'll come over to the lock and unlock position and at this point once you get it locked you're going to want to check that and then click on the update this will lock your domain it will keep anybody from hacking into your domain or making any changes that you don't want them to now if you give them your login for your your domain management then they could very well do that so be careful who you give your login to and and be sure that they're professional uh, down here you'll see name servers come down here and verify physically that it's also in the front panel as well as in the back panel most of the time when you get it completed successfully it's good enough okay so now there you have it you, know, you pretty much manage your domain from anywhere from in here uh, simply go through your navigational buttons and see where they take you and get comfortable with it okay uh, that concludes our video demonstration. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to hit the contact us or give us a call anytime you need. Uh, we're here till midnight Eastern Standard Time. All right. We appreciate your business and we hope to hear about your success in the near future. This is Tom the Toolman from thetoolman.net signing off.